All right, guys, so this is going to be a stress test on MCSoft version 9. If you watched my previous MCSoft version 9 video, uh, you would have seen I did a normal test like I do for every other anti-malware anti program, threw 10 malicious URLs at it, and then threw a pack of malware at it. Well, MCSoft detected every single piece of malware in my folder of malware. Uh, which kind of made it difficult to actually test the zero-day abilities of the program. Which, I mean, that was a great result. I've never actually come across a program that detected every single piece of malware. But nevertheless, I couldn't detect the the um, behavioral detections or behavior portion of the program to see how well that performs. Uh, and that's really important nowadays in a program. So today, that's exactly what we're going to do. So we're going to go ahead and get right into the test. I'm going to disable the protection here. We're going to extract this pack of malware. Oops. Help if I type the password in right. <laughs> what the heck? There we go. Okay. For a second, I thought I typed the, pass typed the password wrong when I set up the folder, but... Alright, so this is extracting. Um, this should be done pretty soon. Okay, so now it states that it's done. Let's go ahead, we'll open up the folder, see what we got. So we got, according to this, 1,330 pieces of malware. It's quite a lot of malware. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and do a contact scan with MCSoft and see what it detects. And once MCSoft is finished scanning and it's detected uh, every possible threat that it can, I'm going to go ahead and remove those threats and then I'll be back and we'll start running some uh, pieces of malware if that is MCSoft leaves anything for me to run. So, alright, I'll be right back. Alright. So MCSoft finished scanning and I removed everything that it found, did another scan just to make sure it found everything and it states that there were no suspicious files detected on the system. So that's good. All right, let's go ahead then and see how much we have left. And it appears we have 46 objects remaining here. So let's grab our calculator and we'll do, we started with uh, 1,000, 330 minus 46 and then divided by 1330 gives us a detection ratio of 96 percent that is astounding um, that, that, that is actually really good for a detection ratio with this amount of malware um, that's awesome to see so MCSoft once again has proven itself it looks like when it comes to uh, having awesome signatures but now unlike last time we actually have malware here to run. So now we're going to go ahead and see uh, what it can detect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and um, get my VPN online here because I forgot to do that again. Uh, let's see. Disconnect from this network. Yeah, sorry guys. I probably should have done this before. Uh, but I forgot. So let's try and go here. As it appears that that site's not working, let's go here then. All right. So let's uh, get this connecting here. Come on, there we go. All right. Just take a minute. All right. Um, what I'll do now is I have to disconnect. Um, easiest way to do it is just to disconnect my network card basically and then reconnect it to feed it the new uh, network settings. At least I found that's the easiest way to do it. Okay. So that is good and we should have internet now. Yes, and we do. All right, awesome. So now we can go ahead and start the test. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and run all these, I think. We're just going to keep going through and see what happens. 
So we'll start with the first one here. After, of course, I get kill switch open because I always forget to open kill switch. But not today. Not today. All right. So link number one here. MCSoft is fully protecting the system. And it looks as if uh, the first piece of malware has been detected. It's executed and it has now crashed. Which is a good sign, I guess. So we'll go ahead and use that one. Okay. This one. Now let's just do this. Actually, we're going to run this one first because I don't want to have to run all of these things. And then we're just going to go ahead and select a whole bunch of these and execute them. Okay. We'll do that again. That time I don't think it works, so we'll just do individually then. Because I know sometimes Windows will not let you, uh, or it tries to shy you away, but I didn't receive any prompts. I don't think that was uh, the case here. Okay, but we'll just do them individually just to ensure that everything is uh, working here. That we get a fair shot at all the samples. Hack.exe. All right. Looks like we got some sort of a website loading here. Don't need to load that. And you can see right down here. I forgot to mention this earlier, but MCSoft is uh, monitoring stuff. You can see it states that MCSoft anti-malware has detected. This suspicious behavior in a program and the MCSoft anti-malware network has confirmed this suspicion so and then the file has been quarantined no further actions required uh, malicious host MCSoft has detected a connection attempt to malicious host okay so you can see we're just getting alerts left and right here which is a really good sign I mean this is that's, a, that's awesome all right we'll move on though continue with the test I don't know what that's supposed to be. Office 2007 setup, which is only 492 kilobytes, as you can, or kill, yeah, kilobytes. The office setup should be, I think, around 800. I think it's on a DVD. There's only one DVD. So yeah, that's obviously not the office setup as you can see. Okay, don't know what that was. Um, let's do this one. I might have skipped that one. I don't know, but yeah, whatever. Yeah, we'll run it again. I just want to make sure that I, I ran that one, so you guys don't think I skipped over it. Okay, I don't think we ran that one. That one. Team viewer. And this might be a legit version of TeamViewer. I don't know. Uh, it's an archive file. We're just going to not extract that right now. Maybe we'll do it a little bit later here. Uh, looks like we get a batch file. I don't want to execute. Uh, it appears as my computer has frozen here, and it looks like uh, Windows has crashed. Okay, so we'll try and start normally here. Unfortunately, this is not a good sign right now. But when we boot up, we will see how MCSoft did. Okay, so it looks as if MCSoft is removing some things. Um, now we're hidden. Okay, it's a good sign. Okay, so it looks like it's standing Windows has recovered. We will attempt to continue the test here. Um, I think we left off right about here.
And some of these might be the same, but I'm just executing all of them. Okay, so it looks like we have a question from MCSoft here. Uh, has detected a connection to a specific host, and we are going to say block the connection. Maybe not. Hmm. I can't seem to uh, click on that at all. I do have a uh, complete control, though. However, over Windows Explorer still. Let me try and get kill switch over, oh, over, open, and see what we uh, have going on in here. Maybe there's a piece of malware that is in fact uh, on this system preventing MCSoft from working properly. Uh, it still looks like it's holding its ground. Okay, so now it looks like it's responding here. Okay. There could have been a piece of malware. Let's see what we got. Uh, no, nothing in, in the background. There is nothing that is out of the ordinary right now. That is really good. Whoops. Wrong one. Okay. And yeah, we'll just let that go over there. Almost done with all the malware here. We'll run these last few samples. And that's it. So we'll just go ahead and execute those. Okay. So it's verifying programs currently. A lot of alerts. That's a good sign, though. This is a really good sign um, that it's ba basically blocking a whole bunch of stuff. Okay. Oh, I was saying I need to restart my computer. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to reboot the computer. And then once the computer has been rebooted, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do our traditional scans with Komodo, Malwarebytes, and Hitman Pro, as well as MCSoft. Can't forget about that. And we're going to see what it finds, if there's anything, in fact, on the system. Uh, in my mind right now, I don't think there is. This system looks relatively clean, which is a really, really good sign. Uh, that's good for MCSoft, too. So, all right, once this system is rebooted, I will re return and we'll look at the results of the scans. So, I'll be back. All right, so MCSoft has finished scanning, and it found one thing here. In fact, it was just a trace located in app data and roaming so it's not too big of a deal because it states that it's just a trace um, but nevertheless I did detect something so that's good to see uh, if we go over to we'll have to remember that file path because that might show up later if we go over to Komodo uh, Komodo did not find anything except for the disabled security center uh, and the user account controls which we disabled I forgot to mention that uh, I had disabled the user account controls to make the test a little bit more difficult for MCSoft and I'm hoping that has uh, succeeded but and I think it did very well even with the user account controls disabled. The only thing that's kinda concerning here that I see is the modified uh, host file. Uh, it's not too big of a deal, easily fixable however you know it's never a good sign to see your host file modified uh, just because you can have uh, traffic redirects from my knowledge uh, and if we look at the host file itself uh, this stuff I know for a fact should not be here. Uh, this this stuff should definitely not be here, and you can see that we definitely have a mo modified host file. Um, so yeah, that, that's definitely not good, but like I said, easily fixable. So we close that out, and we go over to uh, Malwarebytes here. You can see that Malwarebytes found uh, looks like a backdoor bot located in AppDad in the temp folder, and I don't think that is no, that wasn't related to what. Uh, uh, MC stuff on here. However, you can see that we do have the uh, piece of malware or the trace, I believe, is what it was stated as by MC Soft in the app data roaming uh, folder right here. So that's um, nice to see that Malwarebytes also found it. Not too much done in the way of detections. This is all this this could easily be removed by just uh, this is in the temporary folder. So you could, in my mind, easily empty that by uh, doing a disk cleanup and it would be gone. And if we go over to Hitman Pro, Hitman Pro did not find anything. Absolutely nothing on the system. So, bottom line here for 
MCSoft anti-malware. Um, it performed, once again, top of the line in my mind. This, this program is, is something else. Re they have really a good program going for them. That's for sure. Blocked all, or didn't, um, it didn't block all the malware, but it prevented the system from being overrun. And that's really, really the main thing you want to see in antivirus nowadays, is you don't want the system to be overrun at all by malware. And I've seen that so many times. Uh, it basically, we started out with 1,330 pieces of malware, and we were down to, I think it was 46, it, it basically left us with, which is, like I said, 96% detection ratio. And then we ran a whole, we ran that whole folder of malware. And as you can see, the system is still fully operational. If we open Kill Switch, nothing is running in the background. There is no malware currently running on this system. That is awesome. That is really good. That is extremely difficult for an antivirus to do something like that. So this is really good to see. Um, and once again, MCSoft did very well. I would recommend this program, especially being only $10. I think it's still $10. Uh, this is a really good deal. You know, I, I kind of always like the free antivirus programs. That's why I use Komodo. And this is right up there with Komodo. Uh, and in fact, I think this might be a little bit more user friendly than Komodo just because it seemed to have ta taken care of everything on its own. It didn't really prompt me at all to do anything. I was running malware left and right and all it was doing was just sitting there cleaning up the system. So that is a really good thing. I mean, MCSoft, you guys have really done a good job designing this program. Interface is awesome. It functions perfect. Um, yeah, but there's always room for improvement, so just keep keep going at it, guys. This is really a good program. But um, I'll end the video here then. That's basically it. Once again, performed impeccably. So I'll go ahead and upload this. Let me know what you think, and I will talk to you guys later.